This is the Vulcan. It's an e-bike that looks like a motorcycle. Andrew, what is this? We have the Vulcan Brat. It comes from a company that is an electric power sports company, Vulcan. They make UTVs, they make motorcycles like the Grunt and the Runt. So we're pretty stoked to ride this thing. This is their first e-bike that they've created. That's a US-based company based out of Texas. They're just purely an electric power sports company. So the box came a little beat up. This was sent by freight and this is probably the most damage we've ever seen a box sent by freight. So we got a new friend for the channel. Good catch, buddy. It comes in two colors. It comes in a blue color with some brown accents. I'm really torn between that because those brown gumball tires look sweet on the other model, but this all black finish just looks pretty epic. A Vulcan branded bag for tools. So that is a pretty neat looking light. Charger, 54.6 volt charger and a two amp output. And this is a 48 volt system. It looks clean, kind of like a cafe racer, motorcycle inspired e-bike. Let's get the plastics off and see what's going on here. Well, this is a really cool looking seat. Feels nice. Nice and long. Okay, what do we have here? Complimentary set of brake pads to use. That always comes in handy. And this is an interesting design here that I've never seen before. I took off four bolts right here, but this is pretty nifty, look at that. Fits right into place on top of this triple tree suspension design. Isn't that the cutest fender you've ever seen? Look at this. It's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. Oh, another cute fender. Yeah, this will protect your back a little bit, I think. Despite the damage that the box sustained, really the, the bike came in great shape. It looks like there's almost a little dent right here but it's symmetric on the other side. And when we unboxed it, I don't think anything was pressing up against it because it had foam padding all around it. They're little dimples. It's almost like they're injection molded and that's where it was injected into. Otherwise, the bike is pretty much flawless. Great shape. And let's see here. Class two e-bike, 750 watt motor, 20 miles an hour. But it can go faster than that, right? Yeah, if it can get unlocked, you have to download the app and sign the disclaimers for the off-road mode. This is pretty cool. This slap guard, usually it's just a neoprene sleeve or it could just be a sticker stuck there to keep it from scratching the paint. In this case, it's actually something bolted on. It's durable. This is a really cool feature that they have. Totally unique to this bike that I've never seen on a different bike. Where it has the compartment in here to hold stuff. A USB charger, so you can charge your phone in there. That USB port where you can plug things into to charge. It's right next to this window, and I'm assuming that whatever you can plug here so that you can eventually mount, let's say, lights, speakers, phone, anything that takes electricity and have that charging from the bike. We have the Vulcan all set up. I'm about to sign up for the off-road mode and have to sign a waiver. So for me to hit level three waiver, I acknowledge that I'm gonna be safe. And we here at Freshly Charged believe in personal responsibility. So when you ride these things, be careful, don't take unnecessary risks, and make sure to wear your safety gear. It's a clean looking app. It's got your speed, got your charge. But not a ton of features, just mainly tracking speed and your distance and turning on the on-road mode. You can change the name, so let's change it. We're with Freshly Charged. Make sure to like and subscribe. I like that I have the frame serial number uploaded on here, so in case I lose the bike, we see bike theft is pretty high right now, and if you lose your bike and you didn't keep your serial number, it's really hard to report that. The nice thing about the app is it shows you what your serial number is, so you can report that to like Bike Index. All right, let's do a walkthrough from top to bottom. So let's start with the cockpit up here on the right. You've got a twist throttle, a rubberized twist throttle. And we've got hydraulic brake levers. You can adjust the compression on the front shocks. We have the display. And then on the left side, you have the control module. And the nice thing about this is it's good for preventing water ingress. Let's see what this light looks like. Pretty widespread, but not a lot of spread up and down. Moving down the front, you have these little guards for the suspension. Moving down the center of it, we have this console that we showed you that you can hold things in. Matte black finish, and then here, the center piece is in a glossy black, so it's a nice contrast, it looks good. And then moving down here, we have the battery, which is a 48 volt, 15.6 amp hour battery, and it's removable. Just know that there is a power switch on the battery, and you need to turn that on to turn on the bike. So the horn is right here. <coughs> I do love a motorcycle grade horn. The saddle, it's nice and long, feels pretty plush. You have a rear coil suspension and it's pretty stiff. When I was bouncing up and down on this, it, it seemed pretty rigid. This bike is only a single speed bike. There's no gears at all. So it's not really designed to be ridden 
as a regular pedal bike only if you ever need to get yourself out of a tight bind where you run out of battery. There's a 750 watt hub motor. With the 750 watt motor, it's surrounded by the 20 by four inch hybrid off-road tire with a 180 millimeter brake disc and two piston hydraulic brakes. And there's a quick disconnect for the motor hub as well. So tire changes won't be as painful. And also if you ever need to replace the brake disc. We're gonna get this freshly charged, get our safety gear on and take it for a test spin. All right, guys, here we are on the Volcan Brat. What do you think so far, Andrew? I feel like I'm riding a crutch rocket. Let's talk about the Volcan Brat. Beautiful looking bike. That's the thing that's going to strike me. Looking online does not give this bike justice. We've reviewed moped style and motorcycle style e-bikes before and they've always shown up and some of them have felt kind of like toys. I think this is a great looking bike. I love that I can go up to 31 miles per hour with the throttle only. I'd probably be able to go even faster if I was a little bit lighter, but I like that I'm not maxed out at 20 miles per hour once I sign that disclaimer. This comes shipped to you as a class two e-bike. You have to actually go on the app, sign a waiver to unlock this to get its full potential. You still have this sticker right here. Yeah, and I do like that they've included that sticker on there, but also allow you to unlock it. The simplicity of the setup was very nice. I just had installed the stem onto the triple tree and then the kickstand. Very simple installation. Another huge plus for this bike is the suspension. A lot of the suspension on some of these e-bikes that look like motorcycles, they're really janky, but it doesn't have that spring compression where it makes that weird boing noise when you hit curbs and, and bumps. It's nice and quiet. The chain guard is a nice touch. A lot of bikes do not come with the chain guard. I know you're not gonna be pedaling this a lot. This is meant to be ridden, throttle only, but for the times when you're riding and it's for your right wearing pants, you just wanna make sure that your pants in and don't get caught in that chain. And then the motorcycle grade horn is really nice, especially when you're on the road with other cars. You want something that's going to alert them. <laughs> You're so fast and you're so quiet. It's really easy to sneak up on cars. So that horn is nice. And the tread on the tires is great. I like that they have this smooth tread in the center so you can ride it on the streets and then some off-road knobs on the edges, which that's really where you need them on because when you're gonna be taking turns on off-road trails that are packed gravel or a little bit of loose dirt, you need it on the edges. Because you're riding straight, you're gonna be fine. You don't need that traction as much. But when you go to take those turns, you do wanna prevent yourself from sliding out. And then the removable battery, always nice. We have reviewed some moped style bikes in the past where you could not remove the battery. It was actually installed within in this case, being able to remove it is key so that no one steals it, number one. And number two, you can charge it inside your house or office and you don't have to leave the battery out in the elements. I like that they have this extra storage container with the charge port inside. So you can charge your phone inside of the compartment or you can also run it through the hole and charge it on like a phone holder up here. These handlebar grips are very nice. These are a nice rubberized texture that's soft and grippy. This is a Volcon branded motor and it's a 750 watt motor, which doesn't sound crazy, but it offers a lot of torque, a lot of pep, and it's surprisingly not very loud. It's pretty silent. All right, one of the things that we're marveling at is how quiet this motor is. I'm gonna put you right up to the motor so you can hear what it sounds like right up on the motor, but this is not what it sounds like if you're away from it. Really surprised how much power I can generate instantly twisting the throttle. Well, the throttle is responsive. It's super responsive. There's zero dead zone on it. It's nice to have a twist throttle. I would have not liked a thumb throttle just because of the way you're sitting on this. That's why it reminds me so much like a sports bike. I love the great stopping power. It's a combination between the tires and also the brakes. That's pretty good. Combination of good tires and good brakes. Always people are asking about the water resistance rating. Anything electronic, you're gonna to wanna to be careful in wet conditions, but this has an IP54 rating. It should handle light splashes from multiple directions. So let's continue our ride, and at our next stop, we'll talk about the things that we don't like about this bike. So how does the screen look in the sun? Straight on, it's perfectly fine. From my point of view, it's great. One of the big advantages to these e-bikes is the versatility. So you can be on the road, you can also be on the sidewalk and the trails and light off-roading. And so you can do a lot of things that you can't do with a moped or a motorcycle. So here's something I really like. This is a mark of a good brake light. 
the tail light, brake light, you can see it in broad daylight. It's really bright and looks good too, very sharp. We are gonna talk about some of the faults of the bike. The light, it's kind of dim. It's a nice cruiser, but it would be nice to be able to hit speeds of like 36, 37 miles per hour on it with just the throttle only. You see when Andrew's riding, it's almost like he's, he's hunched over, like he's riding a crotch rocket. And that's because this is kind of their sporty model. You can get this bike in blue. The big difference besides the color, the handlebars are a little over an inch higher. As you can see, this cable wrap looks nice, but I would have liked for them to put a little bit more cable wrap. This locking compartment, it's nice for storing things when you're riding, but it's not super secure because this back thing will pop off. Don't leave anything valuable in here if you're not watching your bike. If this module was black, it would fit better with the rest of this body. I would like for this rear suspension to be a little bit softer. These little fenders, they're really tiny and they're not really doing much to protect the rider from the dirt, the dust, and the water. I would like to see better coverage for the fender. And the last thing I'm not a huge fan of is the saddle. It's pretty soft, but I wish this was just taller. For me being at six feet tall, it's just a little bit cramped up. We're gonna ride and while we're riding, we're gonna give our final thoughts and who we think should get this bike. This bike is one of the best looking e-bikes out there. Combination of great looks and great performance. If you're a motorcycle enthusiast and looking into getting an e-bike, this is a perfect bike that will fit your style. If you have any other questions, check out our full written review at freshlycharged.com. Thanks for watching and when you guys ride, remember to wear your safety gear.